Welcome back, fellow members of the Enclave. Let's continue our war, straight off. No introduction, no unnecessary speeches, nothing like that. Just heading straight into combat and war. The war is going really, really well. As aided, of course, by the fact that everyone hates them. And they have now capitulated. Which means that some of these things have fallen to... Uh, well, they're still part of the NCR. No, actually, Caesar's Legion. God damn it. Okay, so we did not really get that far into the war before they collapsed. The reasons being, of course, that the Steel Rangers, part of the Brotherhood of Steel, uh, and the, of course the Western Brotherhood, along with Caesar's Legion and their allies, have all turned against them. Now we have the Peace Deal. They have demanded a large swath of territory. Swath, swath, swish, 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 swish. I don't know. Um, I think some of this will, will make sense. We have a fair amount that we can claim, and uh, we'll definitely claim Sack City, and as much as we can over here. Okay, this is about as much as we can claim right now. And uh, we will claim at least towards the river, that is our goal, to have a proper line, and then we will uh, claim downwards. This is not actually part of what we had occupied, neither is that. Okay. Uh, this is not part of our territory. Can we claim this? We can, Scar Top. Or we can claim this. Stockton. Let's claim Stockton. Maybe we should pass. Maybe we should pass again. And pass again. And pass again. Scar Top. Flynn Ranch, no. And uh, Wood Lake. All right, fine. We we actually managed to. Maybe we could, can we get? No, we can't get Shady Sands. That's far too far, far away. I'm wondering if we will be the ones able to get it, or if someone will beat us to it. We can get Shady Sands. Damn. All right, we we claim Shady Sands. That's not too shabby. That's the capital city of the NCR. We were not at all involved with taking it. I think we're going to be done there. Alright, I don't think a lot of people will be very happy with the fact that we took Shady Sands from underneath their feet. But we did it. We took it. And everyone is the better for it. Lessons from the war. And then we have a lot of things here that we're going to formalize the forces or strike team doctrine. We don't really have paradrop forces, so... Maybe we should take a look at what we should gain here. Enclave officers with localized command. Streamline VB02 production. Drop training. Or we should have decentralized command. Uh, air supremacy. Precise battle plans. I like this one much, much more. Much, 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 much more. Uh, did we get Navarro? Navarro is not controlled by the Enclave. Where is Navarro? Navarro is way over here. Okay, so the next idea would be to take out the Western Brotherhood. Which would mean that we would have to fight the Steel Rangers at about the same time. Of course, the Steel Rangers and uh, the Western Brotherhood all have units that are fairly powerful uh, compared to ours. So we will need a bunch more divisions. Let's set out to produ uh, produce some more divisions. And the NCR propaganda bypass because, well, the NCR is no more. As we all know, due to, well, uh, us defeating them. Could go for this next war goal against Western Brotherhood and then try to reclaim Navarro. It would be really great to do that so we can gain the cloning experiment. Vault City. Purify the city. Gain more stability and more support. Not too shabby. Actually, let's do that. Now we can go up to uh, massive speed again. Uh, where are our forces going? We have a small little line here and here. Let's uh, not do any of that and let's... Um, Let's stop what you're doing. We now have a division ready to go. Let's uh, join into the main force. How are we doing with supplies? Currently sitting on a fair amount of power armor ready to go. Some of it will be scavenged, some of it will, won't, won't be very good. But we're currently making like four per day. Shady Sands Remnants. After the fall of Navarro, many survivors tried their luck at integrating into the NCR. Alright, so it's the same thing as we had before. Uh, that's minus 10% base war support. Will it be worth it for 300 manpower? Sure. 
The fall of shady sands. Mr. President, as you are reading this communication, enclave troops are marching through the capital of the uh, city of the mutant empire of the NCR. Our troops are reporting limited resistance, with many mutants too sick to pick up weapons. It appears the NCR government has fled the city well before our arrival, but it remains to be seen how much longer they will be able to keep their overblown tribe together. Our victory is certain. Alright, that was a, a, a good boon to have this territory. And we didn't even have to fight for it. We just got it because we were smart in the negotiations after the peace. The problem is that now we have two fronts here with the uh, Steel Rangers. The Steel Rangers are a powerful foe that we definitely should be reckoned with. So is the Western Brotherhood. They're also a powerful foe. They have a lot of divisions. I'm not sure if our divisions can handle that. Uh, anyway, we do need to have a lot more people. We have a, a large non-core population available. And not a lot of cores. Would like to have more cores, but I don't think we will gain them. Which is a bit weird, considering, you know... It is also... It is a bit weird, but also not that weird. Oh, here we have, actually, a next war goal against the Steel Rangers. Desert training. Um, is there anything here that will give us any kind of anti-ranger attack plan decision? Fort experience, hold the line. All right, sabotage infrastructure. Structure. We don't have Navarro. We can do the lessons from the war, so we, our units will be way better by the time we actually get into a war with the Steel Rangers, as they're called. Cement and concrete is now ready, which will allow us to make new kinds of buildings. There will be brick housing. Brick housing for the Enclave people. The Enclave is still not that strong, all things considered. We have a lot of enemies that still stands against us. A lot of enemies that will need to be destroyed, murdered, killed. Whichever way you want to express it, one of them will work. I mean, we will need to, we need to destroy them. There's no other way to do, really say it. The destruction of them will uh, prove the survival of us. Plasma weapon that will reduce production cost by a fair amount. Okay, let's do that. We are producing a lot more of those weapons and we need a lot more of them. We have a lot of infantry equipment, a lot of it will just be crap. Let's remove the crap. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Oops, I think we reduced, uh, took away a lot of things that weren't necessarily crap, but oh well, too late. We really need just the uh, plasma energy weapons. That's what we needed anyway. Now we don't have to hide for the bear, from the bear anymore. So that's good. That's really good. On the borders of the bear. Uh, Okay, with the NCR and its allies vanquished, we are able to catch our breath, though we fear our victory may be short-lived. Our borders now connect us to a horde of mutants, perhaps more terrible than any of our old enemies. Caesar's Legion, a parody of pre-war history, defies our soil with their very existence. existence. It's, it's only a matter of time before their dictator understands the true nature of our goals, and once more we will meet a mutant menace on the battlefield. Caesar's Legion will declare war in three years. Damn! I knew it was too good to be true. Okay, damn, Caesar's Legion. I was hoping just to be able to deal with the Steel Rangers and uh, the Brotherhood overall, but... Damn. I'm so sad that... Why did they have to join... Damn, why did they have to do that? So, Because if we're at war with Caesar's Legion, then the uh, Western Brotherhood and the Steel Rangers will definitely have to declare war on us, or definitely will do that. So what I'm afraid of is that... Well, I mean, we need to be at war. We will be at war soon. There's only 1,000 days until uh, Caesar declares war. So, my point is, we need to defeat these guys. These guys don't seem to have power armor. So I'm thinking, maybe if we're really, really quick, we can attack them and take them out. Maybe. This is a lot of monthly population minus and population factor recruitable. 
But if it leaves better soldiers, we kind of need it. Don't you think? Okay, they're war now with other people. We should improve our supply lines here. Because this is just crappy territory. Improving infrastructure goes fairly quickly. So we should be fine there. Formalize the forces, alright. So we will put up our forces here. The idea is, since this is pretty shit territory, and they only really have one... Actually, do they have any crossings here with us? They have this crossing. And the Steel Rangers control this place that has one crossing here. Okay, so I think we could defend our borders with a very limited amount of forces. I'm thinking maybe two divisions per crossing. That could lead uh, to um, fairly good things. I mean, first of all, we would want to have a new leader, maybe a new commander, who will then be promoted to lead our forces. It will be a Henry Barnum, who will uh, then gain the organization first, and uh, this thing, and this guy, who will haven't earned anything at all yet. All right. So I'm thinking, two divisions of newly trained forces could defend this crossing here and this crossing here. The only two crossings from the Western Brotherhood to us. Meanwhile, our soldiers would fight the Steel Rangers, hopefully winning. Shady Sands would probably be lost, we could maybe station some forces there. Depends on how many soldiers we can actually manage to recruit. If we uh, increase our recruitment thing here by even more, then uh, maybe we will be able to field enough forces for it to be enough. We would need at least five, six divisions to control this thing here. Shady Sands. But Shady Sands is not part of our core territory. And as such, it's not really a priority, is it? Sure, it would be good to uh, control it and not lose it, but it won't really be um, super necessary. Uh, we have a lot of technology being done here. Platoon training. And... And, and, and... Damn, that is... Uh, <laughs> that is far away. We need advanced energy weapons apparently for that. We should go for advanced energy weapons. Decisions available. Wrath of Caesar. Hmm. Pure, uh, feel the, these guys, at everything. Pure, purify the city. Retool machinery, no. No. We just need more men. That's what we do. Alright, you guys protect this border here. These guys are veterans as well. Insufficient resources. Uh, increase. <laughs> We're using the Western Brotherhood to gain resources enough to defeat the Western Brotherhood. And a bunch more units. Alright, one of you will uh, join this guy down here. Who will also have a leader. New commander. Oh damn! He's level 6. Ambrose Anderson. And these guys will join a different leader, will also be under here, that will protect... Uh, is this an, even a crossing? Is it? I don't think it is. I don't think it actually is a crossing. In which case we are fine with only having these men here. <sighs> Do we trust that? We cannot draw a front line here. No, I mean if we could draw a front line there, we could draw a front line there. That's just, that's just how it goes. Alright, so these guys will be led by none other than unit leader Henry Williams, uh, Williams, a good leader in the best of days, especially now. Precise battle plans, maybe we should have uh, recruited them, uh, yeah, after this thing. Preparing the power plants, let's do that. I'm a bit concerned. I think we can actually recruit enough men if we just stick it out a little bit longer to be able to defeat these guys. But they are still very, 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 very strong. They have a lot of men. 
even though they may not have uh, power armor yet, they are still like just a sheer amount of them. 34 to 60 divisions. We have 22 divisions. And, I mean, still we have that bonus of this thing. It's a massive, massive bonus for us. Which is true. And we should never forget that we have that. Maybe we should trans over, transfer over like these uh, Enclave Auxiliaries. Maybe they should be uh, part of the Enclave PA Infantry. Just like that. Which increased our units a little bit. What if we transfer over these uh, Navarro veterans to um, PA infantry as well? Ah, damn it, we lost, uh, um, they lost a bunch of efficiency that way. Okay, bad, bad decision. Bad, bad decision. Ranger question. There was only seven days. We're gonna need a bit more than seven days to prepare for this war here. Push through the Rangers. Next war goal? Yes, we will definitely gonna need to push through them. Can't dally around them too long. I don't, don't even think the, the Western Brotherhood has that many units there. Uh, they could potentially land with through water and whatnot. Though that is unlikely. Don't ask me why I think it's unlikely, I just think it's unlikely. Alright. Producing our... Oh god, that's gonna be a lot. We need a lot of power armor. Definitely, definitely do. We're producing a lot of it though. Like definitely a lot of them. Just need more. Basic drill. Good to have, good to have, good to have. Scorched earth. Don't think that was a good decision in the end, but... Oh well. Improve our supply lines before we attack. Does this have an end date? Nope. Ranger Citadel, led by Thrasher Sagara, a coward. We should have this uh, Arch Dornan now. We should wait for him. Have him as our leader. Troll Warrens are fighting even more. Eventually, there will be our foe as well. Who knows when exactly? Who knows? All right, let's um, let's call in Arch Dornan, so leader. That training time thing is very, very, very useful. Shock and awe. I like that. Shock and awe. Supply lines have been improved. Lessons from construction. Oh, infrastructure construction speed. Always good. Always good to have. All right, all right, all right, all right. Disable backstory decisions. All right, so that just removes them, I think. Yep. All right. We have 800 days before the Wrath of Caesar falls upon us. How long is it going to take to get more divisions? There we go. Speaking of the devil, the devil appears. More divisions down there. The goal is to push, push through, push through and take them out. Our generals seem to think that we have a very strong chance of doing just that. Are they overestimating? Maybe. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, I don't know. We need more to uh, support uh, the southern front. Soon we will get three more divisions, which may or may not be enough. One, two... I think three will be enough to hold the line. Because I don't think their divisions will be enough to push through ours. I really don't. It might be folly. It might not be folly. But we're going to wait anyway, because we have this desert training. <sighs> right. Plan our attack. Anti-ranger attack plan. We at least want that before we declare war on the rangers. And then we will have to deal with the Western Brotherhood somehow. 
the troll warren is uh, expanding it's expanding a great deal a bit worried about them the first and pitman which is a weird name for a guy uh, do they have anything about a clearing war on us they have the monster in the woods the great horde my alert converts converts there uh, the Glorious City. I actually don't know if they have anything to declare war on us. If they do, we will just have to deal with them when the time comes. They've taken Klamath. Anything else here that can improve our units? I don't think so. I mean, having uh, this guy could always be good. We, we are at 100% now, but that will be lowered when we're at war. But having 100% stability is really good. Really, really good. Alright, so what will you do? We could do this thing. It's gonna take 2,000 days. Which is quite a lot. Quite a lot. Okay, so what are we waiting for now? We're waiting for maybe a few more divisions to show up. It's gonna take them a while. August. We can wait until August. Uh, let's wait until the end of September before we actually declare war. We need those extra divisions to help us out in the fighting. Plan our attack and um, that thing is done. War with the Brotherhood is the next thing on the list. We're going through and we've gone through almost an entirety of our thing. See, the only thing is, if we can't have knock out the Western Brotherhood, then we would be faced with fighting Caesar's Legion and the Western Brotherhood at the same time. Which wouldn't be good. It would be bad. Real bad. It would actually be pretty horrible. In the, this post war with the NCR borders, they are a bit cancerous. Wait, are the Western Brotherhood fighting against... They're fighting against the Troll Warren. They are already preoccupied. That is good, maybe the Troll Warren will win. It may not sound like a thing you will, you'll hear a lot from someone saying like, oh, you want the Troll Warrens to gain even more power? Uh, sorta. Of. But um, I really just want them to make sure that our bigger enemy, our more threatening enemy, is gone. And even if they manage to push through in the Droll Warren, then they have uh, an angle of assault there on them. Alright, we'll let that be. We had something about uh, declaring war on, um, on uh, the Ranger's front. Anti-Ranger attack plan. Attack bonus against this country, plus 20%. Oh, nice. So when we have our new units, which will arrive now in the end of September, we will declare war upon them, and we will slaughter them. That's just how it goes. Declare war, slaughter, war, slaughter. Got it? Good. And we should have uh, something else here. Maybe an esoteric engineer. Uh, yes, please. And then we have three more units. Okay, it is now October. Our units have arrived along the front and we are ready to declare war. But that will have to wait until next episode. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.